Imagine you have a task where you need to print each number from 1 to 10. You might write it out like this. Print 1, print 2, print 3, and so on, up to 10. Sure, this works for printing 10 numbers, but what if you had to print numbers from 1 to 100, or even 1 to 1000? Manually typing all those lines would be exhausting and inefficient. This is where loops come in handy. A loop allows you to repeat a block of code multiple times without writing it out manually. It's like having a robot that follows your instructions over and over again until you tell it to stop. The for loop is one of the most commonly used loops in Python. Here's how it works. Let's start with a basic example to print the numbers from 1 to 5. The for loop starts by taking each value in a specified range or sequence one at a time. In this example, i is the variable that holds each number from 1 to 5 and print i outputs it to the screen. Let's break down the syntax step by step. 4. This is the keyword that tells Python we're starting a loop. i. This is a variable that we choose. It could be x, num, or any other name. In range 1 to 6, this is where we specify the sequence of numbers we want to iterate over. The range function generates a sequence from 1 up to, but not including, 6. Let's see the output of the code to verify. Now let's see how we can use a for loop to iterate through a list. Say we have a list of fruits. Here, the for loop goes through each element in the fruits list and prints it. The loop runs as many times as there are items in the list, so the output would be Apple Banana Cherry Here's our scenario. We have a list of numbers and we want to calculate their sum. Let's see the code for this. Now, we initialize a variable sum and set it to 0. This variable will hold the total sum as we go through the list. Next, we have a for loop. This loop goes through each number in the numbers list one by one. For every number, it adds that number to the sum. For example, when the loop starts, sum is zero. It first adds one to the sum, so now sum is one. Then it adds two, and so on until it finishes the list. By the end of the loop, the sum variable will hold the total of all the numbers in the list. Finally, we print the result using print total sum sum. This will display the sum of all numbers in the list. The output for this code will be total sum 15. And that's it. We've calculated the sum of the numbers in the list. The for loop made it easy to iterate through each number and update our sum. It's time for a fun challenge. You've seen how to calculate sums with loops, but now it's your turn to try something new. Ready for a little practice? Here's your task. Write a for loop that prints out the squares of each number from 1 to 10. To do this, use the asterisk asterisk operator to calculate the square of a number. If you don't remember, the double asterisk operator in Python is used for exponentiation. So, for example, 2. 2 will give you 4. Give it a go, and let me know your solution in the comments below. I'd love to see how you approach it, and, as always, if you have any questions or want help, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future tutorials. Keep coding and see you in the next video.